Hey, it's me, and I'm JV the Antique Artistic. And I'm Bob. Got Bobby with me today, too. Um, <clears throat> today, I want to talk about artistic people and money. And the majority of artistic people, for a huge variety of reasons, from the inability to find and keep work, executive problem, difficulty executive function difficulties, extremely low income, never and never having been taught to manage finances, and for so many reasons have severe money problems. And that's why I decided to institute Financial Friday, where we will be discussing money in many different ways, you know, ways to stretch money, save money, make a little extra money, and, and some really unconventional ideas too. But today I just want to tell our story um, and very briefly, I won't go into all the details, um, tell our story and how we're doing okay. Um, we actually were doing fine. Bobby had bought a business he was paying off every month, monthly, and um, it was a fairly successful business. I had a daycare. Um, all my kids were autistic or some kind of really awesomely creatively wired. And, uh, you know, we had plenty of money to go on cruises. And we were, we were smart with our money. We saved our money. We, neither of us ever had, like, an a, a extreme desire to accumulate large amounts of wealth that wasn't important to us. But we were at a place where we knew in about eight or nine, ten years, we would be able to retire and retire fine. But then, then stuff happened. Yeah. Um, a lot of stuff happened. First, a loved one who under the time was under 21 became extremely, extremely ill. And we were basically given no hope from the um, from Western medicine. So we decided, well, if Western medicine can't help us, yeah, just pick her up. She lets you. <coughs> she then don't like me now. We decided to try alternatives, and we tried everything. Every, you know, massage, and acupuncture, and acupressure, and all sorts of weird brews, and teas, and lotions, and potions, and magic little circular things. And, well, anyway, we ended up spending hundreds of thousands of dollars. During about the same time, this is when the economy, Come this is when the economy told the, the big recession started. We lived, the town that we were living in, Bennett, Colorado, I was told had, had more of a drop in percentage-wise in, in, in the value of homes than pretty much any other place in the country. Most everybody was just walking away from their homes. We didn't because we figured that'd be part of the problem. Um, with my loved one being so ill, um, I was no longer able to do, do the daycare. daycare. Yeah. And um, all that money was it was just really snowballing, just the debt and the position we were getting, and knowing we were supposed to be getting closer to retirement, and all I could envision was living under a bridge. <laughs> and I, it was really scary. <coughs> and, and we're doing fine now. I mean, we're, we're doing fine. But at the time, it was about seven or eight years ago, I guess we figured out our net worth and it was negative $300,000. You're not going to retire soon on negative $300,000. And my loved one was so sick, took up so much time, and, and it was so horrible. And um, shoot, Bobby got in an accident, got hit by a car. I mean, just all these things kept snowballing and snowballing and snowballing and snowballing and snowballing. And snowballing. And things just seemed pretty... Bleak. Very bleak. And so I said, there's got to be, you know, I'm an autistic, and, and being autistic, we are solution-oriented. I really believe we are wired to be that way. 
we are trained by society to really not be, but we are. Um, and so I decided that I would go online and, and try to find some solutions. Um, and I thought I'd get some ideas and I was like, well, I, what do I look up? Well, saving money and everything, you know, was, you know, seemed so trite, something that, things that would make a difference. And I said, our, our debt is like a snowball. And so I actually looked up snowball debt, what to do about snowball debt. And up popped Dave Ramsey. And he has a small ball, a snowball debt. Not talking about this kind, what well, you know, a small, a snowball debt um, program to get rid of debt. Um, the meaning wasn't exactly the same as I meant when I was looking it up, but it worked. And we studied him a lot, and we came up with some very, very very unconventional methods <laughs> and and we're doing fine now we're doing fine we are retired Bobby had to retire earlier than he thought because of health problems and um, he had no choice to retire but we're still doing okay we own our home free and clear um, and we have a couple a little bit of investment property we have our chickens as you can see and and life is actually pretty darn good and so I'll go into more details on what we did and have, have done and continue doing and um, what other people are doing and just different ideas every Friday for Financial Friday, okay? And so we're here, you haters, we're here, we're here, we're used to it, but to you guys, here who are liking this, please like and subscribe. It really means a lot to our family. Thanks.